Hi everyone, welcome to Too Easy to Learn. In this lesson, we will explore another angle properties of circle. Equal chords at equidistance. We will apply this property to solve some exam question. Let's start our lesson. My dear students, you can see a circle with center O and there is a chord AB. This chord is at OM distance from the center of the circle. There is another chord CD and this chord is at OM distance from the center of the circle. If the both distances are equal, mean that if OM is equal to ON, then both chords are equal. AB is equal to CD. So we can say if there are two or more than two chords at equidistance from the center of the circle, then all chords will be equal in length. So the name of property is equal chords at equidistance. Let's apply this theorem to solve some exam questions. Find the value of x and y. In the diagrams you can see, so this is the distance y and this is the distance from the center to the chord is 6 and the length of chord is 16 centimeter and this is the length of half chord is x. Why this is half we will discuss right now. If you look at these two lines, these lines, these lines mean that the both lines are equal in length. Whenever in your paper or in your question you see you observe such type of lines on lengths, so this means that those lengths are equal in values. So therefore y is equal to 6 cm or 6 units because it is given in the question these by showing these two lines on these lengths. Since both chords are at equidistance from the center of the circle, therefore both chords are equal in length. If it is 16 cm, this chord will also be 16 centimeter and there is one another property if center of the circle join the chord at 90 degree then this point will be the midpoint of this chord here this line is joining at the 90 degree therefore this point will be the center of the chord if this point is the center of the chord so Half of this is 8 cm and the other half is also 8 cm. So center of the circle always join midpoint of the chord at 90 degree. So now we can find the value of x. The first property is the both chord are equal. And the second property is this is the midpoint. So we can say x is equal to half of 16. 16 divided by 2. So therefore the value of x is Eight. So my dear students, you should observe properties carefully sometime many times there are more than two properties are applied in a question to solve that question. To find the value. Find the value of x and angle q. Now if you observe this question, there are two lines marked on these lengths. It's mean that these lines are equal in length. This means that the both chord, this 22 cm chord and this chord are equal in length. So it is 22 cm, therefore this chord will also be in 22 cm. Now, there is a, another property which is applied on this question. If you observe these two single lines, it means that from this point to this, and from this point to this, these two distances are equal. If these distances are equal, it means this point is the midpoint of the chord. If the center of the circle join with the midpoint of the center of the chord, it will always be the perpendicular. So there is a 90 degree angle. So because these two chords at equidistance, therefore this angle is also 90 degree 
so value of q is 90 degree center of the circle always join midpoint of the chord at 90 degree now since both chords are equal so half of this is 11 another half is also 11 so you want to calculate the value of x so x is half of this chord 22 divided by 2 and value of x is 11 so my dear student this is the learn by heart time you have to memorize this property equal chords at equidistance from the center of the circle home task time there is a circle diagram given and the point m and n are the midpoints of the chord this is the given information these two points are midpoint and a b and c d of this a b and c d chord and o m and o n are also equal these two distances are also equal if c d is 16 centimeter and o n is 6 centimeter find angle o m a o m a length b m this length and the radius of the circle and you have to find the radius of the circle i give you the hint there will be 90 degree angle you have to make the right angle triangle to find the radius of the circle so i hope all concepts are pretty clear to all of you and that's it for this lesson if there is another topic you would like me to explain let me know in the comments i will be happy to make a lesson for you don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified about new lesson see you in the next lesson take care and if you want to get the full course join us on tooeasytolearn.com